the F word. Yes, the F word. And I'm going to say it. I don't care if YouTube demonetizes me. Well, first they have to monetize me and then they'll demonetize me. All right, the F word, frugal. There, I said it, frugal. I hate that word. Hi, I'm Eva, and I'm the founder of Fierce Rich Money. So after two years of unemployment, I'm back in debt. So I got out of debt before using my plan, and I'm going to do it again. This channel is about normal ways of getting out of debt, not the extreme ways that litter the internet. All right, so the words we choose have a big impact on our thoughts and our mindset, and Frugal often carries negative connotations of being cheap or miserly, which can lead to feelings of deprivation and restrictions. This mindset can prevent someone from enjoying experiences or investing in their well-being. So the language we use shapes how we perceive the world around us and even affects our actions, decisions, and our mental health. I don't find the word shameful because we don't shame people, all right? We don't call them names. And most importantly, we don't shame people for how they ended up in debt, okay? Um, all right, so that's it. You know, we don't shame here. So when I watch these frugal YouTube channels or read articles with titles like 15 things frugal people never buy, it makes my skin crawl. If you do batch cooking or bulk freezer meals, you need an electric can opener. So stop telling me that I'm wrong because I bought one. All right. Ugh. Negative stereotypes are frugal people are selfish and not generous. They're stingy, unwilling to spend money. The term frugal applies a set, I'm sorry, implies a sense of deprivation or sacrifice. It suggests that they are constantly cutting back on expenses and living a life that's not enjoyable or unfulfilling. And this can perpetuate the belief that being financially responsible means having to give up on the things that bring us happiness or enjoyment, right? This also leads to assumptions about their socioeconomic status or level of wealth. So there is the tendency to associate frugality with poverty or financial hardship when in reality, people of all income levels can choose to be mindful of their expenses and make smart financial decisions. Don't believe me? Read The Millionaire Next Door. Great book. So how should we express the concept of cost consciousness or smart financial decisions without using the dreaded F word. You know what? You can use phrases such as financially savvy, currently budget conscious, or resourceful. You know, these, team, these terms focus more on the positive aspect of managing finances effectively rather than the potential negative stereotypes about being frugal. All right, so let's practice. Instead of saying, she's so frugal, she never goes out to eat, we can say she is very budget conscious and prefers to cook her meals at home, right? By reframing the conversation in a more positive light, we avoid the harmful stereotypes and judgments about those who want to make better financial decisions. What sounds better? Oh, I can't afford that. Or how about... It's not in my budget right now, or instead of frugal, mindful spender. While getting out of debt, we need to be budget conscious. If using the word frugal works for you, fantastic, keep using it. For me and a lot of others, the word is depressing and negative and really, really sad. It describes a person who doesn't want to experience life, who's afraid of seeing what the world has to offer outside of their little world. They believe suffering is a virtue. Suffering isn't a virtue. Generosity is. It's important to consider potential negative connotations and implications of using that word by choosing alternative ways to express ourselves. The concept of cost consciousness 
you know what? We can create a more positive and inclusive conversation about financial responsibility without unintentionally perpetuating stereotypes and judgments. This little shift in language encourages a positive relationship with finances and really promotes a sense of empowerment and control you have over your financial decisions. The power of words and shaping our perceptions and mindset cannot be overstated. It's essential to the mindful to be mindful of the language we use both towards ourselves and others. And it does have a big impact on our thoughts and feelings and behaviors by choosing intentional and empowering language. We can cultivate a positive mindset that supports our well-being and personal growth. Come on, mental health people. Don't get me started on the phrase emergency fund, but that's for another video. <laughs> the important thing is we listen to each other, we support each other without judgment, and it really is that simple. It is. So remember, we are in this together. All right, so... Thanks for my TED Talk, and I will see you guys in the next video.